Wildlife officials are concerned about native plants and animals being harmed during the protest on Mauna Kea. Jen Boniza has more. Jen. Joe, hundreds and often thousands have gathered for the past eight weeks at the base of Mauna Kea across from Pu'uhuluhulu in opposition of the 30-meter telescope. The area is a hub for native plants and animals. There's really just no way to have uh, hundreds of people every day, uh, often thousands, uh, in uh, sensitive natural areas like Pu'uhuluhulu and the adjoining areas off of Mauna Kea Access Road without this kind of harm resulting. Case says that DLNR enforcement officers found evidence that the endangered Hawaiian Anunu vine was damaged at the Pu'uhuluhulu. The state says the Big Island is the only place that it grows. The introduction of alien species is also a growing concern due to large crowds. Andre Perez, one of the protectors involved in the demonstrations, also has extensive experience in native plant restoration. He says they are taking steps to protect the pu'u. The trail has been closed for the past six, seven weeks. Um, additionally, we are now running guided tours with the Kanaka Rangers taking the lead. He says that ensures everyone stays on the trail. All are required to wash their shoes first. They also hope to mark endangered species. Marking uh, critically rare plants with ribbon tape or flags so that they're identifiable. We're just as concerned as Dokir, as the state, as the Army, and we're going to increase our mitigation efforts and hope to ensure that this doesn't happen again. DLNR officer Edwin Shishido says that much of the damage was found about two weeks into the demonstrations. He commends the leadership at the Mauna for their efforts in preventing further damage. Shishido says since that time, it does look like plants are starting to regenerate. Joe.